Hey everyone, <clears throat> sorry, it's Comics and Culture here. I actually had a couple questions from uh, some of the people at my eBay store about um, file copies, Harvey file copies, for instance, and uh, what is a file copy, how do you know it's a file copy, do you have proof it's a file copy, and etc., which makes a lot of sense. If I didn't know, I would ask a question. I tried to explain Harvey had a giant warehouse in Baltimore. A lot of people might not know that. When they went out of business, the warehouse sat got auctioned off and it ended up being bought by Steve Geppi or Jeppy. I'm not really sure how to pronounce his last name, although I met him. I am from Baltimore. He had a store, comic store back in the 80s and all. But anyways, um, he bought it. He, uh, Steve Geppi, I'll say, he owns the um, Entertainment Museum in Baltimore. He also owns Diamond Distributors, which distributes a lot of comic books. He also owns Gemstone Publishers, which does the Overstreet Comic Book Price Guide and um, various other stuff. But anyways, he bought that and sold them off through the years, various places. Um, Heritage Auction House has a lot of them. I've also seen others have a lot of different stuff. So, um, file copy. You had a whole warehouse, of pretty much all their comics, things like that. What they also had were bound books. This is an early one from the 50s. This is the citizenship booklets. This would have been the stuff they did about fire safety and all that. Then we'll move on to a couple more bound ones here. These are 50s. And what these were, were these were high school romance. This was number 1 through 18 from 1949 to 1952. And these were Leon Harvey's. Leon and Alfred were twins. There's a little bit of trivia for y'all. And um, these would just be bound copies. See? Property of Harvey Publications Incorporated, only available copy, please do not move. Do not remove. Oh no, we've removed it. They would have been trimmed up a little bit to fit into the book size, that's the only shame. But other than that, it's the entire comics with covers and backs, and then, you know, the next one, and so on, and so on, all the way down. These were photo covers. So these are what they look like in the um, 50s. Then they moved on to these bound books. Harvey Famous Name Comics. This would have been October 1960, the entire production month. And this one belonged to the production department. And as you can see, we we'll start off here with uh, Baby Yui. This one had a little list. Someone took the time to do a table of contents. Baby Yui, Casper, Harvey Hits, Hot Stuff, Little Audrey, Little Dot, Little Lotta, Sad Sack, Spooky, Blondie, Dick Tracy, Mutt and Jeff, Sad Sack and Sarge, Wendy, Casper's Ghostland, and Sad Sack's Laugh Special. And then all those would be in here. I want to mess them all up. There's Mutt and Jeff for you there. The whole thing with your ads and all. Then they went ahead and they changed it up again <clears throat> as it went later. And they got their whole logo. Here we have the Harvey Famous Name Comics. This was another production department. Although I do have quite a few. Then in here we'll get into the into the closet here. Dun dun dun. But we have um let's see, the uh, Richie Rich full set of gems. And these are also file copies. You know, you just start out with number one and move all the way down. These came from an auction. Then we go back to some more 50s. This was True 3D. These were a file copy. I bought these in a whole bundle from an auction. And if you read in Overstreet, it says there were many found. They were found in the warehouse. <laughs> Here's another one. I have some in really good shape and others. I've given some out to some of my um, friends and good customers on eBay. I'll throw them in as something extra. These are um, cool. The, the uh, glasses have never been detached. The books have never been read. Now these are foreign file copies and as you can see sometimes they actually stamped it on there for the foreign ones. This was Black Cat Mysteries. And then another one where you have the foreign file copy. This was 19, 20, and then 21. Luckily they did not stamp. I guess they had the sense not to stamp. This is a very famous cover here. The old the, uh, Radium. Oh, you should not smoke that. Collar Blanco, white heat. But, uh, great cover. But this is also a foreign file copy. It's a copy from Mexico. Now here's an American Chamber of Chills, where it's been noted by Overstreet, I don't know if you can see that, that it is a file copy. 
and they can tell that I guess because it's not red or maybe these were um, racked up right from the warehouse. I don't really know how. I bought these in the CGC. So um, there you go. And they weren't the only ones. As I said, other ones had file copies. They're just stuff hasn't come out as much. Here we have a not brand Eck 1 through 13 bound which is of course Marvel. This has never even been opened so I don't want to open it too much. You can see it's never even been bent. But you have not brand Eck and then all the way through <laughs> it's hilarious, of course. Irving Forbush, which actually started all the way back in Snafu Comics, which was Atlas, which was still Marvel. Another piece of trivia. All right, so I hope I've explained um, the file copies a little bit, at least the best I could, and uh, hopefully that answers everyone's questions. So um, I'll see you all next time. And uh, Oh, before I go, let me throw this one on here, see where it is. I got a couple really cool pre-code horror. That's my thing here. This one is, of course, great. Weird chills. Gotta love that injury to eye. This little guy's hammering into the eye. And this one. But this is the one. This is the thing. Number 16. Cool cover in itself. I got this from the company Neat Stuff, which is actually a really cool company. I don't have any trouble with them. But I'm not here to uh, promote them. They don't give me any money. <laughs> I give them money. But anyways, uh, this was listed as very fine near mint. And it ended up going at really about a third or a little less than a third of um, Overstreet price. So I won it in auction. I was pretty happy. Then I got it home and I wanted to, well, I got it in the mail. I wanted to make sure, is this really very fine near mint? It looks pretty good about that. So I said, let's open this up and look. And I opened it and, well, hello there, double cover. I guess that was a mistake. The inside is most definitely very fine near mint, if not better. And the outside is actually pretty good. So um, they just listed that wrong, but it was a bonus for me. So uh, Alfred E. Newman and the rest of us say goodbye. And the Crypt Keeper. This is a Johnny Craig original sketch for one of his um, oil paintings. He was doing a sketch up to see, hey, would you guys like it this way with the Crypt Keeper coming out of the dungeons with a whole bunch of EC comics? And he did eventually do that oil painting. That I do not own. I sure wish I did. All right, y'all.